so we have been performing cycle counting as steps so we are we are done with all the cycle counting we generated the cycle counting listing report you can you have seen this listing report you have the items ready now the question is who will perform the task and whether ATFs are supported or not and how do we set the entire advanced task framework for cycle counting so so the answer is yes ATF is supported and these are the various setups that we have to perform for the cycle counting first we should have a task defined and that particular task should be linked with the rule and then rest of the standard setup of resource departments login id employee and all that so i'm going to walk you through quickly these setups so first we'll go to the task this will come first actually so let me put it in order okay and then all right so task setup so if i go to this uh, task window this is the standard task type i'm into w1 because i use the w1 as a warehouse because i have lots of item over there and it will be easy to find items for cycle counting so i have uh, already defined a ccnt cycle count which is defined for the task type called cycle count and this ccnt is mapped with the resource which name is counter and this counter you go to tools and then department uh, you will see the counter is available and if you see there is a one unit of one employee is there now if you go to the instance you will see the employee name Ivan Hilosky. so Ivan Hilosky is the counter is part of the picking department and picking department is mapped with the uh, task that will be done uh, the CCNT task that we have created is mapped to the picking department So we, we this is the one one setup where we have to do the task creation mapping with the employee. Right now, Ivan Hiloski is will use his login ID to perform the cycle counting because this task is mapped. Second is uh, if I go here, then second is the rule setup. So we quickly go to the rule setup screen. Um, so you can go to the rule, define WMS rule, or you can go from here. Setup warehouse configuration rules. So this particular rule ne needs a task type assignment type and then um, I'm using CCNT task. So if I find here, I can open this. This rule is already defined and this rule will return this particular task. So and there is no condition. So there is only one task for cycle count in this setup. So this task is there, the second setup and then the resource i think resource i've already shared in the previous uh, uh, atf setup how the resource employee logins departments and map to task all four things are mapped so when this setups are complete then you we can check the advanced task uh, sorry we can check the warehouse control board now to verify what all things are there over there so now i can go to the warehouse control board uh, this is the warehouse specific internal task so I tick this and I tick this pending and look for the cycle counting task we have uh, test 1 CC test 1 we have created as the last one so I can go and find and you will see CC test 1 so let me expand this and these are the items these are the counting that needs to be done and these are the performer uh, user group CCNT so the task is uh, stamped task type is user task type is a stamp now all the employee which are part of this task type they should be able to perform this task in this particular case I have only one employee Ivan Hiloski he will perform this task so let's go ahead and uh, and perform one of the transaction right so I'll have to log in now um, Ivan Hiloski password is welcome so warehouse management to mobile user and then I can go to uh, warehouse and uh, inventory then counting then cycle counting this normal counting then or code I'm doing this thing in W1 and then name of the cycle count so let's say CC test 1 yes this is the one so then sub inventory is bulk I'm gonna say why I'm saying bulk because here it is uh, 
bulk and uh, I may declare b2 1 dot 1 as a locator so um, can I can scan or I can type in and then the item code so or if I have the LPN I can do the parent LPN as well so let me see what help I can get it from this so I get the locator I get the sub inventory now I don't have parent LPN detail um, and not even outermost LPN so I'll just go ahead and uh, type the item code now this is the item code so I'm going to copy and skip this go to the item and try to paste five zero two double zero right and then I'll put the actual quantity of this so I don't know what is on and quantity here in WD 500 so I have to just physically go ahead and count so let me see what is available in the system and then I accordingly I will manipulate the data a little bit so I'll go to the workbench I can go to the on hand material workbench where are this yeah I can get it from inquiry screen I'll paste the item code and I want to see what's the on hand there in bulk and I have the locator also so I can do that that as well so I'll find this okay so if I scroll uh, on hand is saying 120 uh, let me just type uh, 119 or uh, maybe you know, 110 probably let's do 110 so I'll declare I have found 110 I can do the save and next item and keep doing the counting as I have a lot of work to do today uh, or I can just done if it is one counting so I'll just do one counting and click the done button so this 110 is recorded and it's gone into the cycle count that we adjusted now once this counting is going on one can actually see uh, now the approver role the manager warehouse manager who is going to approve this cycle count he can also log in and and see the countings so I'm gonna say let's say approve count window I'll go here and I'll look for the CC test one I'll click the find button and it says that query counts okay pending approval only so yes so did not come through yet so let's wait for some time and then I'll say no so everything will come look like yeah let's wait for that transaction to come and then from here one can take the action like you can approve you can reject or you can recount right so we'll, we'll go ahead and wait for a few seconds and then we'll start seeing the result all right so you can see the on hand quantity of WD 50200 is came as 110 and since we have not given any any tolerance at the time of defining the cycle count so that's why I did not ask for anybody permission so it directly went into adjustment so that's that's why 120 was earlier and now it's saying 110 so similarly we can continue the cycle counting as from this Ivan Hiloski login ID and we can see the result in this material workbench screen provided there is an if there is an approval required then we have to go to the approval request which we have seen earlier where you can say uh, approve reject or recount so thank you very much for watching this cycle counting video